Hi, my name is Josh, I'm from the GPK group, and today I'm going to show you how to play back uh, video, recorded video footage using the uh, Hike Vision software on your computer. Now right now we're looking at the software on the main view screen. Your screen will probably look different with more cameras, less cameras. Um, however, in this example I've just got this set up uh, with one camera working. So to view recorded footage, uh, we need to go to the control panel. Now up in the top um, left hand corner, you should see a control panel. Clicking on that will get you to the control panel. However, if you don't have that up there and you've just got the main view screen or other tabs up here, to jump to the control panel, we can just click view and then control panel and we get that back right there. So to playback uh, recorded footage we need to select the remote playback button and here we're going to get to the remote play playback screen and we'll go through each um, area of this screen on the left hand side you've got all the cameras in your system listed if for example um, for example your um, uh, setup might have different cameras here and there might be labeled like aisles and etc but for this example um, it's just a, a, a stock standard setup and I've only got one camera working which is this IP camera down here now for this um, I'm going to there's two ways you can uh, look at footage say if I want to look at footage from this camera I can double click the camera or drag the camera into one of these windows and now we're looking at, if I double click this square here, it will zoom in. Now I'm looking at recorded footage, okay? I'll hit pause for a second just so I can explain all the areas of the screen. At the, so this is the main preview window. This is the window that we can see. Just under that we've got control, so we've got play, stop. If you hit play, it'll turn to pause. Uh, while playing back, you've got these two little, it's currently playing at 1x, which is standard speed. If I select this, it'll now play at 2 times the speed, 4 times the speed, 8 times the speed, 16. So as you can see now, it's at 16 times the speed. I can now zip through the footage a lot quicker. Um, let me just put that back to standard. Or I can actually even slow it down, so now it's even slow motion. Okay, so pause. So these are the controls down here. These controls you don't really need to worry about at this stage. We won't cover them in this video. Um, there's a full screen button here. Uh, if I click on that, it makes the image full screen. I can hit play again um, and actually play back the footage in full screen. You can see the clock's ticking here. Um, I'll hit pause. If I wanted to exit full screen, right click, quit full screen, and I get back to. Um, the main screen I was looking at. Here is a quick view to jump to different times and dates as well. Uh, if you just want to jump through it, but mainly we won't use this area. It's only if you're looking at large uh, amounts of footage. And the main area we'll be looking at is down here, the timeline. Now the timeline is broken up by, uh, it's a 24 hour period. So if I go to, so now we're on the, let me hit pause again. Now we're on the 5th of April 2017. At that time, this blue area is a continuous recorded footage. This is the footage that's actually recorded. Uh, I can actually drag this and actually let go and it will um, jump to that area. So as you see, it's getting later and overnight. And then we'll jump into now we're on the 6th in the morning, and the sun's coming out, and I'm back in. So that's how you scrub, quickly scrub through footage. Um, say if you wanted to jump in a particular point in time, I'll just go back to the, the previous day. Say if I wanted to jump to uh, the 6th of April, I can just click this. It brings up the calendar. I can click 6th. And let's say I wanted to have just jump straight to 10 a.m. 10.03 a.m. Hit OK. It jumps straight to 10.03 uh, a.m. Okay. And I can continue to view the footage. 
and hit pause. So that's how you view footage. Um, you can actually view footage um, on multiple cameras at the same time in the state date range. So if I click here and go back to a four, uh, four window view, here I've got four. I can drag and drop other cameras into these boxes. I don't have any other cameras connected, so I was just going to say no video during that time. But I can actually hit play, playback footage on all four streams to see what's happening at one given time if someone's walking into one camera or another camera. So that's one way I can play back footage in multiple times. But in this example, I showed you one. So I hope that helps uh, you understand how to play back footage. Uh, join me in the next video on how to export footage using IVMS. Thank you.